Having given everything a really good clean and a good wash, now it's the time to put it all back together. It's a bit like doing an interesting puzzle. You're joining the wires up, colour to colour, connector to connector. There'll be a few of them that uh, don't match up because it's a bit sir. So you have to work out whether you're going to put in a new connector block or just some spade connectors or some bullet connectors. Get it all fitted together, then add electricity. I've got a nicely new charged up battery which I'm going to shove in. Uh, connect that up and then hopefully no smoke, no fires. Go through all the switches, see what works, see what doesn't and then fix anything that you find. That's, that's the theory, let's see how it works out. For the first fit, I won't even try to put the loom in any sensible position, just roughly near where it needs to be. As you can see, you've got a rat's nest in the uh, headlight and things hanging down over the engine. But the important bit is, get the connectors all together so that you've got all the components wired up. So that's my first task, is to try to do that. Right, once I've got all the components on the battery box, it's a case of getting all the connectors to go together. Yeah, some of them are obvious. I don't worry about where things are hanging at the moment, as long as they're not in the way of something that might be dangerous. Because I'm likely to have to remove it all to position it better in the future. At the moment, all I want to do is make sure that all the components work and that the wiring connectors work. You come across some waifs and strays. Like with the uh, regulator, there seems to be two sets of wires for a regulator. Not quite sure why that is. However, when I've been looking, I have seen that there's been some loose ones of these on some other videos which I've seen of people working in this area. So maybe it's for some particular model that I've not, you know, I'm not sure of. But I'll, I'll find out before I actually add, what, add electricity. Also, I've not spotted the indicator relay wires yet, but I'm sure they'll be there. Just a quick look in the wiring diagram. So it's a case of going through, get all the obvious ones together, any connectors you need to change, change them as you're going. Look for orphans, and if you find orphans, try and find a home for them. If you can't find a home for them, find out why they haven't got a home. Do all of that before you even think of connecting a battery to it. So there's still quite a bit to do here. When you're doing this, it can feel like you're wrestling with an octopus. But don't give up. I noticed with this that on these ones, that seems to be a grey wire. Whereas on here, it's got a white wire. And these are marked green white and black. So I'm thinking that they're definitely going to be the right ones for this. I wonder if this is for a model with a slightly different kind of regulator. I'll have to look into that. It becomes obvious that you have some pattern parts. The bullet connectors on these for the indicators are too small. They're actually a lot smaller than the fit in here. I think they're about a millimetre different. So what I'll have to do is clip these off Put some of the right size on. I like to crimp them on rather than solder them on. I've been told that crimping is the way to go and it's what they uh, used to do originally. So I have to get those changed. That's them on. So light blue is to the right. So let's go with that one. And the green can go in there. Oops, that looks like it needs a bit of fettling, so I'll have a look at that in a second. And the orange goes to the left one. So I'll put that in there. So I'll just fix those green ears, put them together, and that's all the rear lights put back together. Looks like the previous owner got a full set of pattern ones, so I'm going to have to do the uh, fasteners on there as well. But 
the handlebar switch I have actually managed to push that in and make the connections so that may well work I'll put a cable tie around it eventually or maybe swap the blocks completely but at the moment I'm just trying to get it ready for testing so that should do orange for left light blue for right and both of the earths to an earth oops oh no that's from there right on to the next bit one of the things I have missing is the wiring for the idiot lights and looking online yes you can buy them but they seem inordinately expensive for the four bulb holders and a couple of bulbs so what I've done I sourced some bulb holders the 12 mil got 10 and literally for about three pounds some three watt bulbs that go with them so I've got a nice little bulb holder three watt bulb will go in and these will fit in here really snug now the only problem I've got is the wire colours are wrong but what I can do is I can label them and can make it smart put it inside some kind of heat shrink that should actually do a really good job I've never used these fusible links before but they actually seem to work really well and just to test everything so the green is the earth for both the uh, indicator and the main beam so onto earth main beam yes we have main beam indicator yes we have the indicator light so black is the earth for the neutral and for the oil light so, and green and red I think that's the neutral light and blue and red should be the oil so they all work need to tidy that up now Put the other ends on so that they'll actually fit into the loom. I've got some indicator lights and it cost me about five or six pounds. That's the loom made up now, so I just need to fit it onto the bike and then get the rest of the wiring done, ready for testing it. Pushed all the wires through, now I've just got to match up the right colours with the right ones in here and that should be the idiot lights wired in. Well, I've now got everything to match up in the bits that are attached to the battery box including I discovered that these the grey the black were for the indicator relay and the green it just says not connected I've also been brave enough to connect a battery if you have a quick look I've not had any fires yet the connector block for the switch that I've bought doesn't actually match up what I've done is I've just put in some wires to connect the right ones together at the moment. What I'll look to do is buy one of these or one of those type of connector blocks and replace it before I actually finish and have the bike up and running for the road. Sometimes you have to do expedient things just to see if it'll work. 
I've got a bigger rat's nest in the headlight at the moment, but I'm just trying to get it together to see what works and what doesn't. It doesn't match up with either the wiring scheme for a F-series later on or for a K-series earlier one. There's bits and pieces that are different. Vast majority is the same. bit that's causing me a bit of confusion at the moment is there's an orange and white and a blue and white that are involved with the indicators. All the wiring diagrams seem to show them coming from the switch, but these are actually in the wiring scheme. When I connect them up and try it, I get this result. So I've got great four-way flashes, but that's not quite what I want. Works both ways, by the way. So it just tells people you're turning. Interestingly, the switch has two positions for indicator, which I've not really noticed before. The first one just turns on the light and it's only when you go to the full click that it actually starts indicating so I'm gonna to have to look into that and the headlights working onto main and onto dip and it works on the uh, idiot lights as well I've got a lot of the loom together and a good amount of it seems to be connected up correctly I've got a problem with the indicators which I've spent a little bit of time on and I've got a bit fed up now so I'm gonna let that lie for a little while and come back to it also, the starter motor initially was turning it over and then tried it again and it just stopped. But before it stopped, I actually checked and I did have a spark, so that's looking promising. Brake lights work, uh, things like that, so it's indicators uh, and the starter now I need to have a look at. I'm going to stop at that. It's a rough fix. I didn't expect to get everything working first time and some of the things are actually laughable the way I've put them together. But should work. Won't leave it like that long term. You're always going to get these little niggles that you have to sort out. These are the bits that make it interesting. Because if it all just slotted together and worked, it'd be pretty boring, wouldn't it? I need to have a look at the starter motor because there's obviously an issue there. So I'll start by having a look at that. But I need to take the carbs off to get at it really. So I'm going to take them off and give them a good clean next. Then I'm going to work my way through all the bits on the engine seat to make sure that's going to be a runner. Then I'll come back, finish off the electrics then and see if it'll start. That'll probably be within the next couple of weeks with a bit of luck. Hope you've enjoyed this.